my finger. Hey guys, do you want to just Hello, hello. Let's see who hops on today. Are you sick? I'm not going to wait there. Hold on a second. Thank you. All right. Hello, Corbin. Hello, Rachel. Mrs. J. Mrs. J, you're on. Yay. Bye. Bye. All right. No, Daddy needs it. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. All right. Thank you, Riley. Guys, come here. Guys, come here. Good job. Theo, come say hi. All right. Guys, I am excited about this seat today. Um, awesome. I'm glad you figured it out, Mrs. J. I don't even know how to do that. He already got a snack, babe. Come on. Hey, can can you, hey, can you go watch the king and make sure he's being nice? All right, so so I don't think that was Roman. Hello, Erica. All right, today we are gonna learn about Saint Thomas Beckett. Okay, um, so I'm gonna tell you about him, and then I'm gonna tell you how I found out about him, like how I originally found out about him. Um, and then we're gonna pray. So this one might take a little bit longer, but like I, yeah. He's super cool. He's super cool. Um, because of him, if we ever had another kid, I would like to name a little boy Beckett because he's so awesome. So, um, Thomas Beckett is a saint from England. Basically, he grew up with rich parents, and then um, he... He leaves for a little bit, comes back, and, like, they're no longer um, rich. So he has to start working. And he does this by doing things for the church. Um, he gets really close with King Henry II. And then it ends up being that he becomes Archbishop of Can Canterbury. And that is because um, King Henry really liked that he was so much like him, right? Because when he entered into the court and became, like, this noble person – um, he lived like King Henry did. Okay. So then he becomes archbishop and he takes that job. Um, he takes that job like super, super serious. Right. And he starts to change his ways and it makes King Henry the second really angry. So he banishes him. So when he comes back, basically he's talking smack about King Henry the second. And he's saying how like, you know, um, his words were, what miserable drones and traitors have I nourished and brought up in my household who let their Lord be treated um, with such shameful contempt by a low born cleric. Okay. Now remember, basically he's saying like King Henry the second, you're treating God wrong and you're stupid. And remember they were really good friends. So King Henry is talking and like the guard, some guards over here four nights. Thank you. Um, they over here. And they take what he's saying, right, like a vent session. He's gossiping. He's venting that he's, like, angry with um, Thomas Beckett. And they take what he's saying as, like, this is an order, okay? So he um, he is confronted. I just noticed a jar of peanut butter out with the kids. <laughs> um, he's confronted by these knights that ask him um, on December 29th, 1170, four knights ask him basically like, why, um, why did he say that? Why was he acting that way towards the king? And he refuses to answer and he flees to the cathedral while he's standing in prayer. It's really gruesome. Do you want gruesome or do you want it like, you tell me, do you want gruesome or you want me like just, Short, short and sweet version. I can, I can tell you the details. I can make it short and sweet. Oh, okay. You guys tell me if you want gruesome or short and sweet. Let me go uh, get Roman on the pot. Right back. 
So basically, um, he is scalped, and then he is like hacked apart as he's praying. Um, okay, as he's praying because, um, don't touch the computer yet, though. Okay, not yet. Say so hi. Um, he's, like spread apart on the ground. Super gross, right? Okay, but you can't touch. You can't touch there. Um, spill it. Here you go. Okay. Theo, you know, talk to them for a second. And Riley and Corbin and Mrs. J. Can you say hi to them? Okay, can you say hi to them? Okay, so um so basically he's just okay, stop clicking. Oh my goodness. So basically, um <laughs> he he's hacked to death while he is praying, right? Um so the reason yeah, your mask. Put it on and show them. So the reason that he... I this mask. Yours, I okay, go get yours on, the yellow, yours on the yellow table. Um, so the reason that he is... Uh, I chose him is because I was reading one day. Oh, can I have my chair back? Um, oh, yeah, go find it. Here, I'll put your mask on. Go find your lightsaber. Um, so I was reading one day about this um exorcism okay so in the story i'm going to read it a little bit to you guys um he this priest called father george is an exorcist um and he's performing an exorcism on this girl let's call her rachel that's what the story calls her um and he father george demands that the demon reveals who his nemesis in heaven is okay um okay Go look out there. Go look in mommy's room. Um, right? So he's asking him, like, who is your who is your arch enemy? And demons apparently never, I don't know this stuff, but this is a priest writing this. Um, demons apparently never want to reveal who their enemy is in heaven. Because um, that's knowledge that can be used against them. But Father George kept hammering away this question. And finally, um, they, the demon, he hears say Thomas, right? So then he's asking, okay, well, which Thomas, right? Because there's lots of saints that are Thomas. Um, and the, the demon wouldn't say, so he keeps hammering it. And finally he says, um, he demands that the demon answer in the name of Christ, okay? So the demon says, Beckett, right? So his, his nemesis, this demon's nemesis was the martyr, St. Thomas Beckett, um, otherwise known as St. Thomas of Canterbury. Um, so finally, after a lot of praying, the demon reveals his name, which he identifies as murderer. Okay. So Father George calls this priest that's writing this article and he's telling him about it. And he's like, Father George, you know that I have a piece of the alb that St. Thomas Beckett was wearing when he was murdered in his cathedral. So he overnights it to him, right? He gets it to Father George. Um, so halfway through his next session with Rachel, Father George's session, he pulls out the relic and he applied it against her body. And the effect um, was that the demon, under the torture, the demon shares that he was the demon who possessed the king's men that had murdered St. Thomas Beckett. What? What? So like 800 years later, St. Thomas Beckett got these demons to like leave her like I remember reading this and I was like like when we were pregnant um this last this third time um for those that don't know baby didn't didn't make it but when we were pregnant that was like I read the story and I was like if it's a boy like I want to name it Beckett right um 
Because to me, that's so powerful. Like we read these stories that are really cool about saints and we get to know them, which is awesome. Um, but like, <laughs> he's still doing stuff. 800 years later, he like St. Thomas Beckett, that's a story. They're all still doing stuff, but that's a story you get to hear of like, and then literally just the relic, something that he wore um, was so powerful, right? So St. Thomas himself, he is so powerful to drive out demons 800 years later. So crazy, so crazy. Um, so St. Thomas Beckett, super cool story. Learn more about him. Um, yeah, let's let's pray. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of St. Thomas Beckett. I pray that we too can change our ways when we start going down the wrong path and that we can give our hearts over to you fully and say yes to you, especially when we most need to. Father, I also pray that we have the strength that St. Thomas Beckett had. During his gruesome death, he never stopped praying towards you or with you. I pray that when we're in the most difficult parts of our life, that we continue to pray with you and to speak with you and to ask for help and guidance and love. And most of all, Lord, I pray that we can have the peace that St. Thomas Beckett had. Amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, yeah, Riley, it's because seriously, like St. I want to read more about him. St. Thomas Beckett, guys. <laughs> I've been so excited to share this one. I don't know. I was going to do it yesterday. And then I forgot about the saintly minute because we got busy. And then I figured like it was more important to do Mother Mary because like we need to trust the Lord. But like I have been waiting to share St. Thomas Beckett with you guys because it just blows my mind. Like it blows my mind that these saints that said like they're saints just because they said yes to the Lord. Right. So we can do that. They're saints because they said yes to the Lord and they let him work. through it. That's it. They said, okay, go for it. We can all do that. We can all surrender and be those saints. But he is still doing things. He is still casting out demons 800 years later, right? Not like a day, a week after he died, 800 years later. And a relic, right, of something he wore. It wasn't even like him. Like it wasn't a part of his body. Something he wore was enough to cast out this demon, right? That is crazy. Believe, believe and trust in the saints and their guidance, okay? Trust. God has got this, right? Everything we're going through, God has got this. All we have to do is say yes and trust him. Okay, I've been super pumped to share this one with you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Super awesome. Remember that tonight we're doing our um, live, li well, not live, but our life night. Uh, I sent an email out today with the links to the life night and to Zoom, and I will make a picture and put it on our story so you guys can join in and invite your friends. Um, we'll do the Zoom meeting with Lauren again in St. Rose. Super pumped. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Father Mike Schmitz tonight. Woohoo! And if you didn't check out Project Youth Minister last week, I didn't watch last night's either. But last week was Father Mike Schmitz, and it was really, 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 really cool. Really, really cool for Palm Sunday. And then um, last night, I can't remember who it was, but I have not listened to that one yet. I've been going back and listening to the talks. Um, but yes, Father Mike Schmitz tonight, super pumped, so excited. <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys, that is all I've got. Tune in with us tonight. It'll be fun. No, no, no. Sit down.